Association is the foundation of many horticultural businesses. Today, reproduction of plants can be achieved by many successful methods. Although seeds and cuttings make up the majority of today's propagation techniques, there are many plants which cannot be effectively reproduced by these methods. By making use of the many different kinds of vegetative propagation, we can take advantage of the plant's natural growth habits. Another benefit of vegetative propagation is that the plant will reach maturity faster than if grown from seeds. In this program, we'll focus on the vegetative propagation methods other than cuttings. We'll not only cover the many vegetative propagation methods used to produce plants, but we'll also study the processes and mechanisms which make these techniques so successful. We'll take a close look at many techniques such as crown and offshoot division, along with different types of layering. We'll also examine specialized stems and roots such as bulbs, corms, tubers and tuberous roots, and rhizomes. Let's begin now by explaining some of the basic terms and concepts which will help us to understand these vegetative propagation techniques.